Hi YouTube, Ricky here from Tech Talk. Today we're going to be doing a new video on the Vodafone Smart V8 and today is my favourite video. So today we're going to go through all the accessibility settings that you're going to see on this great device. Quick thing that I just want to point out before starting, when you first set up this phone you have that option straight away as you saw in our setup video which I'll link in the description and put on the end so you can go and check out our unboxing. You get the option to change accessibility right at the beginning. Also in the setup process, there is a final page to change or adjust any accessibility options you may need or require to use this phone on a daily basis. So to actually change the majority of the settings, you need to tap your app drawer here, sliding down, then click on the gear icon here, and this means settings. What you need to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom, which I have done, and you can see accessibility here, the little man. So we're gonna tap on this and let's go through our settings there is rather a large mount which is great to see so at the top we have talkback so let me turn on talkback here it's going to load a tutorial so if i highlight this box here it will repeat everything you will see when talkback is on your device provides spoken feedback to help blind and low vision users for example it describes what you touch select and activate so what this means is that it will talk back everything that's on your device so i can go up to here and settings tap settings i can then tap battery 40 percent 11 10 so i can tap the battery i can tap the time we can find out all different information. So there you go, you need to double tap to go back. There's an absolute great feature to see on this device and you will see this on most Android devices. Underneath that, we have switch access. So the switches can help you access your device. Got helpful tips here, which you can turn on and you will see in the helpful tips section, or they will just pop up to show you any tips you may need or require when using your phone. So captions will highlight and you can choose two different options. You can either use Google or there is a own preset option in there for captions underneath captions we have magnification gestures so i'm going to go in here toggle this on so one two three three quick taps of a single finger then you can use two fingers to move around the screen and you can pinch to zoom as well which will zoom in everywhere on the device so you can even do this on your home screen underneath that you have font size and as you can see i've already changed the font size up so i can actually read this out to you underneath that you have a new setting called display size so in display size you can see different modes so you have deep Default, large, then small. This means that you'll see more text, but we're going to stick with default. You've got click after cursor stops moving, so you can use a mouse and a cursor with this. You have glove mode, which is fantastic to see, so you can use gloves. You've got high contrast text, so if I just toggle this off, you can see it's a little bit bolder. You've got your power button will end calls at the side here. You've got auto screen rotate, which is always turned on from the get go. If I turn the screen around, you can see that it rotates to your orientation. You've got speak your password. You've got large mouse cursor as well that you can use. Mono audio, accessibility shortcut, text-to-speech output, touch and hold delay. You've got color inversion. So if I turn this on here, it will invert the colors and make it a little bit easier to read. Then color correction that will help with people that suffers from the red and green mainly. So if I just toggle that off there, let's go back home and let's talk about the fantastic amount of settings that we do see here on the Vodafone Smart V8. For me personally, the large text is fantastic. The talkback will come on. I've used the talkback for a while to see how well it's performed during tasks, going through menus. You have to get used to this, but it's great to see that it is on there. If you do need any help, with the features that you see on this phone please leave a comment down below loads more videos to come i have run a poll on twitter as well to ask which video you would like to see so we said would you like to see a camera video a review video comparison or a gaming test so go to my twitter at tech talk uk one link is in the description go and choose from that poll and let me know what you want to see this is your channel and i'm so pleased to bring you these videos and it's great to hear what you think as well so please leave a comment down below please give a thumbs up to vodafone as great to see their new device remember to stay up to date with all our latest news you need to hit that subscribe button as well so from me ricky thanks always for watching i'll see you in the next one bye for now